Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we got a package in the mail today. Got my package from Hobby Nut Models. So I just got this. Have not opened it yet. So I thought I'd open it up with you guys. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this. Always nice to get things in the mail. Nothing like coming home from work and have a package on the porch. Throw the knife down roughly like. Oh yes. Lots of paper. So, I got out Mark and talked about getting this kit. And I thought, you know what? This would be super cool. Comes with the trailer. I know this is a repop from back in the day. And I just thought, you know, that'd be a really cool, really cool kit. So I was really looking forward to this. And I'm probably going to build this right away. Uh, this is probably going to get built very soon here. Um, yeah, so this is really cool. So I've been... Like I said, I've been looking forward to this. Got the old 440 on it. And this is a really cool part. I mean, how many car kits you get with trailer mirrors? That's <laughs> just awesome. Love it. So, interesting to go through this. Uh, see what's in the box. And I already got colors picked out for it. Which, hopefully, will be in this box. For the colors for this car. But we'll see. Uh, I know he was out on a few colors uh, that I picked for it. That I thought would look really cool there. So, we will see if they showed up. So... I got some of these jars because I love these jars. I think they're awesome. The Tamiya jars. Get this open here. So we got some MCW hardener for enamel. I use a lot of this stuff. I go through this stuff a lot. And I use quite a bit of it. So we're gonna put that down there. And I tell you what, these jars are amazing. Because it don't matter, it seems like how much paint is on the lid they'll always come off or they'll always open up so these are really really nice i use these all the time so i got one up here let me dig one off the shelf here so i have my mcw hardener in this and i can almost put two of these um bottles in here so what i usually do is i'll open this up and i put it in this uh it just makes it much easier to work with and so i like that so much um grabbed a few more jars I just I think they're awesome. I wish everybody used that same top. So very cool. They're very nice jars. I highly recommend them. Like I say, Mark has a slew of them down there at Hobby Nut Models. So. so yeah, so we got three of those bad guys. And we got some paint today. We got a few boxes of paint. Let's see what we got here. Loving the paint. Loving the paints. Ah, oh, he got my color in. Beautiful. Okay. So avocado green is the color that that cornet is going to be. What else we got here? Ah, uh, we got some Chrysler turquoise engine orange, or blue. Very cool color. For our engine for the Mopar. Obviously needs to be shaken. Uh, very cool. I did not have this color, so that worked out good. And we got some Seafoam Turquoise. Check that out. That's a very cool color. So, I don't know if you guys knew or not. Um, I knew this before. Um, Matthew at Model Car Videos, he was explaining the numbers on the bottles. Uh, so the first two numbers on the, M or on the MCW enamels so 69 that is 1969 anywhere between like 01 or 00 to 29 is a gm and i have to look at my paper to see i can't quite remember which one is what then it goes forward is the next then you got mopar so we got our clear gloss um okay so i used this gloss the first time on my 71 fastback and it just didn't ever hardened right. It just it was hard to work with. It just seemed like I was always messing with it yet. And I just wasn't happy with it. And I was talking to Mark and he says it sounded like I had a bad bottle of hardener. Uh, and I didn't realize that hardener only has a shelf life for about six months. So I tried it again when I did the EXP. And that stuff hardened like a rock. So I'm thinking, okay, now I'm sold on it. Because uh, I really had my doubts with it. 
and I thought, I don't know, this stuff just don't spray like I thought it would. So wasn't overly happy with that. So so I tried it again, and okay, now I'm back on board with it. We're we're in it again. Uh, I got some antique silver. Oh, I'm sorry, just regular silver gloss. Uh, I got a few kits I want to do this with. So these basic paints, these numbers are just basically just the number of the color. Uh, dark blue. So this is a blue I've been wanting to get. Um, I got a couple of the Motorcraft cars from uh, kind of like the early 80s. Uh, let's see, which is the one car here? Uh, the Mustang GTP, I believe, is this color here. And I think it's more close to the 7-Eleven blue. Um, so I'm going to put that on there. So I've been waiting to get a color to, to finish that car up. And then we got some Miss Green Metallic. So this is another color that I really flip-flop back and forth with on that Coronet. And, yeah, so this just looks like a super cool color. Uh, like I say, it's a 1968 color. And I don't remember what numbers the, the Ford and the Chrysler when they started and stopped. So I keep thinking this is a Chrysler color. I'd have to check my reference. So we got some bronze fire metallic. This is a super cool color. This is really neat looking. Once this bad boy is shaking up nice, this looks amazing. Uh, so this is 1969. Um, yeah, just really cool looking. So cinnamon stick. This is a new Chrysler color. Uh, I've been looking to get this so you can see it's uh, 2000. It's like a 2020 color. Um, yeah, I've been I've been wanting this for a while. So I'm gonna paint the uh, Lamborghini Huracan model with this. Uh, that's the color that car is gonna be. And this is a Chrysler color, a Mopar, a Mopar color. So I thought that looks super cool in that. Super cool. And we also got some hardener, uh, some more clear hardener for the clear coats. And then we got another bottle of gloss black, because uh, I'm just, I'm a fan of the black. You guys seen a few of these are painted and they just, I love this stuff. Um, especially if you give it a nice light coat and then give it a, a nice cure, wet sand it, hit it again. Oh my gosh, this stuff's just phenomenal. Uh, you guys seen that Turbo Coupe model I built. Um, that's what that is. Just amazing, amazing paint. So dark green metallic. This is another very cool color. Um, this here, I believe, is a Chrysler color as well. So from 1967. Uh, if you look on his website, on Mark's website, Hobby Net Models, he shows pictures of the cars with this paint on it. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea what it's going to look like and all the cars are in the sunlight. So it's very, very nice to kind of match it up. Because, you know, if I was to look in the store and just looking at this bottle, I'd be like, hmm, dark green. I mean, that looks like dark forest green you know like black green until you shake it up and actually spray it on something and it's like oh that's completely different so very cool and my avocado green this is the color that's going to go on that mopar um this is very cool looking and i know for sure this is a chrysler color because this is right off the chrysler sheets there so this is the color that the cornet's going to get i'm uh, going to do this with the black and probably a black hood that's the plan anyways and we're gonna go from there so so yeah so very cool a lot of stuff had been out of stock for quite some time so it's kind of cool to see some of it's showing back up so so yeah guys so i thought i'd show you my little uh haul today from hopping up models and like i say we're going to get on this kit here very soon and like i say we're going to do the avocado green in this um, I know this is a re-release. You know what? Let's open it up and let's uh, just take a quick look see inside and see what kind of decals we get with it. Obviously, they're in black. So, where did my knife go? Let's take a quick look here. See what we got. I got a couple other builds I got to get onto, but this would be a good one to get it painted and get started on it. And just kind of put it away for temporary because that's how I like to do my kits. I like to paint them set them to the side and then i'll come back to them just to make sure that paint cures nice very very cool look at that man how cool is that Super, just crisp and clean nice so we got the rt on here that's very cool really nice detail on this you know i like a lot of these older models i know they're redoing a lot of them, but the detail i think on some of these older kits was just outstanding i mean just 
unbelievable. So these little marker lights here, uh, they were chrome. My cousin back in the day had a Cordoba, and I remember had these on here. And my mom and dad had a Plymouth Volari, a little four-door Volari, and they had these on there. And they, you know, they they turn on with your blinker. Um, just cool, cool old stuff back in the day. They were like an amber when they lit up, like a little orange glow as they flashed with your blinker. But very nice body. I mean, very very clean. So I think this would look very cool in that avocado color. I don't know if a white decal or black decal look good on that, but because uh, I believe they got the decals that goes across the trunk there. So I'm not going to open the glass. I'm going to leave that in there because check out this. You get this. I believe that's like a hood scoop, like a clear scoop. That's kind of different. Uh, not sure what these are for. They might be part of the mystery hood scoop. Well, we got clear red ones too. So I just look at the instructions on that one to see what that's all about. So I'm going to open these up real quick and just go through this. So we have seat belts and everything on the interior. Super, super cool. Let's see what we get in this bag here. So we got our seat belts. Uh, we got our door panels. Very nice detail. Like I say, I, I like MPC kits. I don't like you guys. like, eh, but I mean, I've always liked them. I, I'm just, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say no more. Uh, yes, our stock engine. Very nice, very nice. Crisp, clean. Thought there was something on that valve cover at first, like some writing. Nice convertible boot uh, for the back. That should paint it really nice. Uh, let's see. We've got some exhaust, it looks like. Uh, and some exhaust flanges, maybe? Not sure. Got a little distributor. And not sure what these guys are for. Maybe I have to look at the instructions first before I go through some of these bags. So we got our trailer. Check that out. Let's open that up. That's got some pretty cool stuff in there. I see a gas can or some tools. I saw in the box that come with a bunch of tools, so that's pretty neat. So let's see what we got here. That's a pretty cool little trailer. So we got a jack handle here. We got a toolbox. Uh, not sure that might be a box for the trailer. Looks like we've got an axle for the trailer, or leaf springs. Very cool. A little gas can. I'm liking that. This is the other half of the trailer. So looks like trailer sides, back, top, bottom, all that good stuff. And a back gate. Here's our floor jack. And this must be the piece uh, that looks like it goes under the car. I would guess probably back here somewhere for the trailer. Yeah, how cool is that? That'd really look nice if that was done up in like a some kind of silver color or something like that or or a super gloss on a uh, satin bottom or whatnot or even the car color of the car that'd look really cool interesting uh so it looks like we got bucket seats so i'm not sure which is the stock version i'm assuming maybe bucket seats are stock being the other ones has the race seat belts in it wow that blade is nice nice so let's see what we got in this bag. Let's see what you get in this one. Uh, yes. So it looks like we have an instrument panel. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's a firewall. Nicely detailed. That looks really good. Oh, so this must be the race version. Maybe. Yep, we got more seat belts. Uh, obviously some bucket seats. And it looks like a little roll bar. And this is our instrument panel here. That's got some really nice detail on that. Very, very nice. Very nice. So we have two hoods. We have some more exhaust. We got some massive hood scoop. Oh, we have... Oh, yeah, look at that. We have traction bars. Oh, yeah, we got to put those on. And they got to be yellow. Traction bars are always yellow. That's They just they look cool that way. So we got some nice exhaust. And we got some horns in there. Isn't that cool? So our exhaust has some nice... Uh, square tips so those look nice with the old monotol pen on there chrome them up um because chrysler always had those tips like that from the factory and you can get a radiator top it looks like very nice this is a pretty nice kit you guys need to get yourself one put one together these are pretty cool so let's look at this this is tools and this has got those cool mirrors in there toe mirrors yeah Look how detailed that jack is, that four-way. Man, that thing's really crisp looking. Hmm. 
Very nice. Like I say, guys, this looks like this will be a really nice builder. I'm really looking forward to this one. I think this will look pretty cool. So, looks like we've got some nice looking mag wheels here, and we got our stockers. Uh, looks like we've got two grills. we got a custom grill, and I'm going to say that's probably a centerpiece to a console. And we got our other grill, which the RT grill looks really nice. I like the two piece headers, that's pretty cool looking. And looks like we have a intake manifold that looks like it runs a set of Weber's or something like that on it. And we got some pretty decent mirrors in this kit. They look a lot better than the, the ones that were in that Plymouth kit. Those are just basically stubs of uh, plastic. So here's our kind of like mini velocity stacks basically. Uh, so those look pretty good. If you were to choose to go that route, we got a nice floor stick shift. So very cool. Let's get the tires opened up here and see what those look like. So these are pinned style. Um, it was looking like in the frame there. Oh, so we got some nice white, white walls. That's actually some nice looking tread on those tires. And I'm going to say these are trailer tires, it looks like. Pretty thin. They look like the old bias ply tires. Cool, cool. Okay, so we got one on the floor. We'll get that later. So we got another tire there. So we got a couple slicks. So there's nothing on them. They're just a slick. But that would be nice to put some Mickey Thompson logos on there whatnot. That'd look very cool. So let me get the uh, decals out and let's take a look at those quick. Oh yeah, those are nice. Check those out. That is a very nice decal sheet. And I can tell by looking at the decals, these are going to go on very, very nice. They just have that nice, heavy, you know, marking around them. Versus some of those uh, AMT kits from round two. Um, I mean, they don't have that heavy, like, print like this does. You know, you're not going to be able to see it on camera. But you can see it's, like, really super glossy at the decal. And the paper is just flat. Those are some very nice decals. Good job on those. Those look good. So let's see what we got here. I like they give us quite a color choice for across the deck. And let's see. Mm-hmm. Running with the Dodge Scat Pack. Yes, sir. The cars with the bumblebee stripes. That's kind of cool. No STP flowers. That's kind of unique. Nothing screams late 60s or the 70s like some flower stuff uh looks like we got is that bumper stickers maybe can't see maybe that picks that up because i can't see it let me see if i can see it in the camera is that upside down that is very cool super cool i like that we got our decals for the trailer it looks like awesome loving it that is a very cool decal sheet it says on the box it is expanded so they were not lying. MPC instructions. Um, these are kind of different looking from the original instructions that you used to get. Still, you're pretty basic. Uh, not much reading on them anymore. Remember back in the day when most instructions, you had to read half of it and they only give you like a couple pictures and that was it. Now it's just nothing but pictures. Everybody can figure out the picture. So... So it looks like those other buckets, those are stock, and the weird looking, the round ones, those are the custom ones. Okay. And either way, the back seat is the same no matter what. So pretty quick assembly on this. So into very nice. Yep, so there's that clear hood piece. Okay, so this is the top and bottom part of that toolbox. That's what that other piece was. So like I said, we got our trailer, we got our jack. So then I want you to glue that so you can move that jack up and down. And like I say, you got your sides for the trailer. Uh, and all that good stuff. And we got some cool decals, like I said, for the trailer and whatnot. So, guys, this is a pretty cool kit. I mean, this, they got a lot of neat parts in there. Everything's pretty clean. There's, like, very, very little flash on this kit, if any. I mean, you know, usually where you get flash on most kits is the belts. You know, that's where, I mean, you get a little bit right there. And other than that, this kit's pretty clean. I think this would be a nice, easy builder. Get it painted up and uh, make it look pretty. Appreciate Mark sending me this kit uh, to go through it. Mark does support the channel, so appreciate that, that hobby knot. That 
avocado color that I ordered. Uh, like I say, that's going to go on this car here. So I think that would look really cool on this um, with the black hood. I just think that looked really cool and we can do maybe a three different colors of black inside uh, I don't think I have any other greens because the green interior would look pretty cool, too But I don't have any kind of flat. I would almost have to have like a military green for the seats I think that'd look the best, but we'll probably just do it black and uh, see how that turns out. So um, Like I say, maybe we'll get this painted up here quick and uh, For the next video and we'll see how this turns out. Like I say, I like to paint my kits ahead of time and just let them set for a while and move on to something else uh, I like to say I always like to have one painted and ready to go. So uh, Once again guys, I appreciate you tuning in and checking out the channel and thanks for watching and following along And like I said next video we might get this up and painted and see what it looks like so once again I appreciate it and you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching uh, there'll be a link in the description below for Hobby Nut Models. You guys go check that out. And uh, like I say, get yourself some of this cool MCW paint because I love it. You guys seen a lot of my builds. I just love the stuff. It works great. So, okay guys, we will talk to you later. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.